Should I keep that in or not? Pretty savage. No, don't get that in. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Wait till you watch it back and then you'll know. <laughs> you'll be like, uh, no. Can finally eat? Yeah, we can finally eat. So I'm a bit hangry. Why am I hangry? Because I forgot to put the uh, memory card in the camera. <laughs> can you just kids. show the fact that you just put McDonald's mayonnaise <laughs> is the best mayonnaise on the planet? Chicken sandwich. Oh. We always get the same McDonald's order as well, don't we? And you always say to me, babe, what are you having? And I go, mm, <laughs> I love a McChicken sandwich meal. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. Today, we're going to do something slightly different. We haven't done a Q&A in mm. over a year. So we went onto Instagram and asked you guys, what do you want to know about us? Because we've had quite a few new followers over the last year. We thought it'd be a really good opportunity to just have a really good catch up and McDonald's for lunch mm -hmm. we're gonna film this in two parts the kids are gonna be involved we have got all the questions that you wanted the kids to answer we have got that coming soon <laughs> we're just gonna sit here grunt at the camera we had what what do you reckon hundreds of questions hundreds yeah I reckon about five or six hundred questions but we did read them all what well, I did <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm reading questions. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. <laughs> it was really funny though, reading the questions. There were some really common things, common questions that came up over and over and over again. Like literally, the number one question was, what does Ryan do for a job? <laughs> and we make reference to him being at work night shifts coming in from a night shift so if you mm -hmm. ever watch any of our vlogs our morning vlogs or evening vlogs you'll see that he's he works really crazy hours and they're kind of nice because then i could get to do like lots of school runs i do miss some weekends which really isn't that great i do get to take them to school and, then and you're we there. do get to like do a lot i feel like i'm there a lot like i'm at home a lot which is nice i've been in my job for 20 years <laughs> what is your job I feel like I'm just I'm, I'm just building I'm just building a little bit of tension. <laughs> it's so it's so boring. <laughs> I bet people think you do something really amazing. They're like, wow, he's like a He's a rocket scientist. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not a rocket scientist. Fireman. <laughs> no, no. I'm not tall enough to be a fireman, am I? <laughs> I'm strong enough. I'm definitely strong enough. No, I'm an engineer at Heathrow Airport. Basically, electrician. Yeah. Yeah. I'm basically an electrician. Mm. But I'm basically... An electromechanical engineer is what I am. But you have done that since I met you. Yeah, I've done it for a long time. So Very long time. We've never known anything different. The kids have yeah. never known anything different. So it definitely works. Just routine, isn't it now? Yeah. Like, it's four days on and then four days off. Mm. So it's kind of weird and then there's days and nights mixed in with it. It just works itself out. So one of the other questions we got on, mm. on linking to that was <clears throat> what did I do before having kids or what do I do? <laughs> so I run this channel and our family's Instagram so that is now my job. I've been a stay at home mum for eight years. Now I do this and so now I run our channel. I do the editing and the planning <clears throat> and organising and making sure our social media is up to date, TikTok's account, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I do now for my job which i love because it means i'm available for the kids before kids and actually after holly was born as well i worked for apple so i was a store manager for apple and i i started off by being at the regent street store and then i moved to white city and then i moved to the kingston branch so i've worked in a few different apple stores but because of Ryan's shift work four on four off and me working in retail when i was pregnant with olivia it was just impossible wasn't it get mm. childcare because obviously we both work weekends so it was just it was impossible so mm. once olivia came along i had to give that up yeah i have no regrets I feel like about you, that. yeah i feel like we, we was that's kind of like what the plan was anyway so that kind of leads on to the next question which is what made us start our youtube channel and whether um if dad girls hadn't started a channel whether we would start a channel or not that one's like a probably a pretty strong no really <laughs> they because, paved the way didn't they yeah 100 percent. i remember they... when joel saying he was going to start a youtube <clears throat> channel all of us were like what yeah like what are you talking about <laughs> it was like what are you talking about it are you gonna do what <laughs> so in answer to that question when the people say uh, was we influenced by dad v girls 100 mm. we were influenced by yeah dad v girls joel was the one who said you should really think about 
mm. starting a video or starting a channel with them and I was reluctant to do it because I thought I've never done any kind of work like this camera work editing <coughs> in yeah. honesty I just oh, thought yeah. it was too ordinary and too yeah. boring <laughs> <laughs> but Sarah and Joe actually were the ones who they talked us into it for over a year didn't they they was mm. telling us really we should look into doing it it was lockdown wasn't it mm. and we were at home a lot and I just started kind of filming the kids and doing more on, my, on our Instagram page and it started to be received quite well and then yeah it was Joel he was like let me teach you how to edit we did a big editing crash course we actually filmed three videos before we started our channel they all got binned they, they were all off. terrible <laughs> they were such bad videos <laughs> So our very first video, if you go back right to the start of our channel, it's face flat. The girls look so young. It's like six mm. minutes long. Yeah, it's like... You can see how nervous we are, and it took me about three weeks to edit. Yeah. Any regrets? Absolutely not. No. None. Absolutely not. None it's at great. all. I really, we really enjoy it. The next question that came up <clears throat> loads for us two. Would we have any more kids? Do you want, do you want to deal with this one, or should I deal with well, this one, or...? So guys, mm. no, <laughs> no, no more kids, no more none, kids. none, none, none. Mm -mm. I always wanted four kids, you wanted two. So right from the very beginning of our relationship, we always said that we'd have three, didn't we? Yeah. Olivia's pregnancy was so rough. It was so hard. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I can't do this anymore. I can't, I can't do another one. And I felt really, really sad. Like that opportunity had been taken from me. I felt very sad about it. So we decided, didn't we just, just do it one more time risk having one more really dreadful pregnancy and just yeah do it again i mean how big was olivia olivia was 10 pound seven she was the most difficult pregnancy but the easiest baby once we had logan i remember being in the labor room with the blue curtains around me knowing this is the last time i'm ever going to be doing this oh i was traumatized from the birth anyway so you know. yeah that was <clears> a <throat> tricky birth that one it was hard we wasn't tricky <laughs> It was 39 minutes from start to finish. It was just very, very, very it was, fast. It was rapid. <laughs> Where is he? He's on you. Where is he though? Baby, my baby. He's on you. You're cuddling him now. <laughs> I'd only had six minutes of gas and air. That's all I'd had. <laughs> the, by the, time the, got rate, to the, delivery the rate you was breathing it in, you had about three hours worth. I'm... <laughs> is it a short answer to that question? Is no more kids. Yeah, no more kids. Ryan. Yeah. Several people wanted to know, did we catch the mouse from Holly's birthday vlog? So, about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you tell the story. I'm not... So Don't hate us, okay? We tried. We really tried. So the mouse was caught. It was caught, but not by us. I think the cats caught it in the night. Yeah. Poor mouse. R.I.P. Montague. Montague? Jeez. Didn't we, isn't that what we called him? I don't know. Hello. That sounds like a really posh name, not the one that I would come up with. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're savages, cats. Savages. Are we planning a house move anytime soon? <sighs> yes, we would like to, but we think it's still maybe a year or two off, I think. Yeah. We Ooh. love our house so much. How long have we been there? 15 years? Yeah, 15 years. 15 years <clears> we've <throat> lived in this house. And our, all our babies were born there and brought home from the hospital to that little house. And they had the little nurseries and... It's got so many memories, hasn't it, this yeah, house? Yeah, so many. So but many we are, memories. And we've done lots of work to it. So we extended <clears> out the back <throat> and we've built the den at the bottom of the garden. And we've done lots of work, like, structurally inside the house too. Really, I think the girls would love to have their own room. Yeah, I think we're getting to that point, aren't we? We really wanted to make sure by the time Holly starts secondary school, she had her own room. But realistically, that's not going to happen. She starts secondary school in September. I don't think... Well, in fact, I'm certain this year is probably not going to be the yeah, year that we move, but maybe is. next year. Uh, we've never you? really done a house tour, though, have we? I don't know if you guys have ever seen really the whole house. You've not really done a house tour. You've seen the makeovers in Logan's room, the girls' room. We filmed last to leave the bathroom, so you've seen that. We do a lot of filming in the front room, so you've seen that. Kitchen. Yeah. You've kind of seen everything. I think you have, yeah. Comment below, would you like a house tour? The, we got the... gone back to the book. <laughs> Let me just crush out my book. It just shows how old I am. I do things with pen and paper still. You're not just going to like flick out the questions. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one. That I one, am nearly one. 40. <laughs> oh, there was a couple of questions about um, like my relationship with Sarah and Dadvy Girls and, and, and that kind of link. Because obviously a lot of you have come over from Dadvy Girls channel. So there was a lot of questions about how close are we 
to Dadby Girls. Like massively. Massively close. Massively close. Like we'll see them most weeks. Several times a week. Yeah, like all of the time. We spend Christmas Day together, holidays together, <laughs> birthdays Weird. together. Yeah. We had two pregnancies at the same time, so um, Holly and Sophie are only 12 weeks apart. Mm. And Chloe and Logan are 10 weeks apart. So we had two pregnancies at the same time. So we then had our maternity leave together as well. So before the kids started school, we would, me and Sarah would see each other. Yeah, all the like time. Like most days. Mm. And me and Joel have just got like a, just a bromance. I actually love <laughs> your friendship with Joel. It's all very it. close, aren't you? Yeah. So the kids are really, really close. Chloe yeah. and Logan. Oh, they're like, they're like six inseparable. Thieves, aren't they? <laughs> like, they really are like twins. Um, they are inseparable. <laughs> Next one is asked a lot which is where and how did we meet well this was the second most common question so going back to my job i started the job in 20 years ago i was doing an apprenticeship and i trained at kingston college for the first year so me and a couple of others went and started trying different kickboxing classes out we tried like five out until we found the one <laughs> the one. <laughs> Literally the one. My dad ran a kickboxing club in Kingston. I was his kickboxing teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love telling that story. <laughs> I love that story so much. I was better than you though. No, you was not. That's when we finished, I was better. No, you was not. I was really no, good. No, you was not you was not better than me. I still remember the day Ryan walked in and those people that are skeptics and say love at first sight doesn't exist, it did. Yeah. I remember actually saying, Oh no. This is trouble. We were both in relationships, weren't we, with other yeah. people at the time. So nothing happened, but we knew each other for a year. She hurt her foot one night, and I yeah. picked her up, and she nestled her, ne <laughs> her head into my neck, and I carried her into the bar. And I was like, oh man, this is, I'm done. Um, this is, she's my lady, that's it. Oh, she's my lady. That's it. Aww. I'd got a job as a um, fun stuff for Haven like you know like a red coat so I was a singer at a holiday park and I was leaving the following weeks so was the last time we were ever gonna see each other yeah because then I had um, a place at Liverpool Uni to yeah. go to university so I was gonna go to do a season in Grimsby Grimsby and then followed by three years in Liverpool so that was the plan this was it we were gonna say goodbye so we had gone for a drink with all the karate lot including my dad <clears> and <throat> said goodbye that was it yeah that was it. And then you went. Yeah. And my dad said, um, he was like punching you in the arm, wasn't he? And you were punching him in the arm. Standard. Who could give, a, who could give the has, best? Sensei is always giving me a dick. Yeah, like always. who could give the best dead arm? And you had this fight with dad and then walked off. And I obviously was looking a bit glum. And dad said to me, you need to go outside and go and give him a punch. So I'm not going out there and giving him a punch. He said, run, hurry up, because he's going to go. Run out there and go and give him a punch and say, this is from my dad. Fine, all right, I'm going to run out. So I ran out. I was like, oi, Ryan. Bum, this is from my dad. And he grabbed my hand. Kissed me. You know, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. So we had a whole year where we could see each other three times a week, go for drinks after <laughs> with all our friends, <laughs> Nothing happened, and then one week before I moved hundreds of miles away, we decided actually we should probably give this a go. This might work. September came, and I obviously had this place at Liverpool Uni that I was going to go to, and we'd been together now six months. I turned down the place for love. For love. And we moved in together. And look at us now. That was that. One more question from us and then we're going to get the kids involved and, and have them answer all your questions. So the last question that came up lots and lots and lots was about the kids' names. So were they named after anyone? Had their names got any special meanings to us? What were their almost names? So Holly, she was never going to be Holly. That was never on her name list. No, Phoebe. Phoebe. And her backup name was Isla. And then when she was born, I looked at her and said, she's not a Phoebe. Not Phoebe. And it was actually Grace who named Holly. Yeah, she said, why don't you call her Holly? Like Princess Holly. And she was watching yeah. that cartoon, Ben Holly, and Ben and Holly's kingdom. Yeah, Ben and Holly's kingdom. little kingdom. Why don't you name her Holly like Princess Holly? And I was like, Princess Holly? Of course my little princess should be called Princess yeah. Holly. Yeah. Holly's middle name is, is a, it's a long story, but it is a, it is a family link to, um, to my brother. So she's named Nicole, so Holly Nicole. So her name um, has a reference to my brother who had passed away that same year she was born. And then Olivia, still, so we had Isla, came up again. Same, yep. We also really liked Poppy, but being a piggot, Poppy Piggot, 
poppy pee good. So we sat with that one for quite a while and then realised actually we probably shouldn't give her pee pee, like poppy piggot. When Olivia was born, I've already mentioned the fact that she was £10.7, she was very squashed and very red. And I just said to Ryan, we need to give her a really beautiful name. <laughs> How mean is that? But I said, what about Olivia? Is she just so, it's such a pretty name. Yeah. And yeah, he would just pronounce it Olivia. And I was like, just take the O off. Just call her Livia. Yeah. And that definitely helped. It did help, yeah. Her middle name is Sarah. Referencing like some other, you know. <laughs> I don't know where that one comes from. Yeah. Hmm. And then Logan. So his name choices, he was going to be called Liam or Zach. I just thought the name Logan was too cool for us. <laughs> I just didn't think we were cool enough to have a song <laughs> called Logan. But that was from the film, the Wolverine film. Yeah. When it came up and it, they said his real name's Logan, I was like, wow, I really love the name Logan. And I tend to pick names if I know I can call them something else. So Holly Bell, Livy Lou. And then I was like, like Logie Bear. Yeah. From was the it? cartoon when we were kids, Yogi Bear, like Logie Bear. And we just looked at each other like, it's got to be Logan. Yeah. It just worked. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're a Logan. You're going to be a Logan. That's He's such it. a Logan though, isn't he? He yeah, really he suits is. Logan. Yeah. And then his middle name is Michael. And there's a strong family connection on both sides. So again, my brother, that was his name. Um, and my granddad so, as well. So he was named yeah. after my brother and your granddad. Yeah. And your middle name is Michael too. Yeah. Phoebe, Isla, What would their boy and name? Zach. What would the girls' boy names be? So um, Holly was going to be Kieran. <gasps> oh, yeah. Olivia was going to be Noah. Yep. And Logan, if he was a girl, was going to be called Nancy. Nancy yeah. <laughs> the, the comments are going to go mental. Really like them names. The other names are rubbish. <laughs> this has been so much fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed this. Right, it's so we've jokes. got all your questions for the kids. So let's do that. Hi, guys. We are eating McDonald's and uh, saying your questions. Okay, so Logan, the first question for you is what? is your most favorite food uh pesto pasta Ooh, pesto pasta i like grated cheese on the top olivia what do you want to be grown up when i'm grown up i want to work at a animal rescue center um because when i was in spain i went there um and i petted a tiger and it was really cute you love animals so yeah. much Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I want to rescue ones that are being that are being um, treated um, badly. I couldn't even go anywhere near touching a tiger. And also, when she was like four years old, like Logan's age, she fed penguins. I went to this like zoo experience thing, and I was with um, I was in the tank of a penguin and um, meerkats, and the baby meerkat fell through the gap of my leg. So, Holly, how are you feeling about going to secondary school? Well, I feel quite nervous, but I also feel quite excited. Both my first and second choice of secondary school are mixed schools, and we don't find out which school that I have until March. I'm hoping to get my first choice because it's a lot closer, and all of my friends are going there. Logan, everyone wants to know how you're finding school because you just started preschool. I mean, not preschool, <laughs> from big school. I actually really love it. Mm, that's good. You got lots of friends. Mhm. Mm I actually really like uh, singing. I get why Logan loves singing because our our teacher is so nice. <laughs> so Logan, what is your most favourite YouTube? <laughs> what is your most favourite YouTube video that you have ever filmed? This one. My favourite one was the um, um, We Do Mum's Makeup. My favourite video that we have ever filmed is the watermelon band challenge where the watermelons explode. Snap. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Everyone wants to know, will we ever get a dog? Yes. Yeah. Would you love us to get a dog? Yes. When would you love us to get a dog? Next year, maybe. Logan, would you love a dog? I don't want our cats to run away. Oh, that's cute. What was your favourite holiday? Disney. Yeah, Disney. I really liked all the rides. I loved Avatar. Definitely yes. recommend Avatar. it. 
and I love the Slinky Dog and the Yeti Ride. My favourite uh, uh, holiday was actually Disney as well because uh, Slinky Dog was actually very fun but I didn't have much fun but because on Slinky Dog, dog uh, my tummy was hurting. Yeah, you got travel sickness from the dog world, didn't you? I like all the right. Oh. <laughs> what would be your dream holiday, everybody? I, I really, really, really want to go to Greece. Me too. Oh, actually, I don't know what Greece is, but it's where Mamma Mia is sitting. I really want to go to Greece, Spain again, uh, uh, Disney again. Yeah. I want to go all there with my aunties. Logan, do you like being the youngest? Nah. Why? Oh, why? Because I want to catch up with both of you. Oh, you oh. Want it. he wants to catch up with us. You already did, see? <laughs> see? Liv, do you like being in the middle? Yes. I get to do things sooner than Holly did because mom and dad are more relaxed. Do you like being the oldest then? Well, I do because I get to stay up later and stuff like that. And I get to do more and I get to go out with my friends a bit more. I also don't really like it because... Don't, don't like it because... I don't really get things quicker. Yeah, like Olivia said, she gets some earlier than me. Mum goes stricter on me. I get you. The most asked question is how and when did you become um, a veggie, a vegetarian? Well, I became a vegetarian in year three because when um, we were having like a chicken and chips and Livia had chicken on a bone and I asked mum, what part of the chicken is that? And she said... It's the leg, and I said, "Ugh, I'm never eating chicken again." You didn't actually just say "ugh," you were nearly sick. You were like, mm. Bleh. even though I'm not really an animal person, I just didn't feel right eating animals because I'm the only vegetarian in our family. We're not strict with me, so I do eat sweets that aren't for veggies or I do eat gelatin and stuff. I don't think I'd ever go back to eating meat because when I was a meat eater I never really liked meat anyway so I don't like it and I don't feel right eating it so I don't think I will. Thank you for asking all, all of them questions. I, I hope you have a good day. Bye. 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 See you next week. See you next week.